To some, it's democracy. To others, it's illegal separatism. In Spain's autonomous region of Catalonia, a controversial independence referendum has created a major political crisis. In Barcelona, regional ministers and members of parliament, like Alba Vergés, are fighting for Catalonia's independence. But those ambitions are not shared across the region. Many want to remain in Spain. Catalonia's bid for independence has left the region and Spain deeply divided. In the eye of a political storm, all appears quiet. Inside the Catalan parliament in Barcelona, MPs like Alba Verguez should be debating. But their session has been suspended. So this is the Catalan parliament and it's empty today because uh, we, we should have now a plenary session that it was suspended by the constitutional court, the Spanish constitutional court. So they, they are trying to suspend our activities. They are trying to tell us what we can talk about and what, what we are not able to talk about. And that's not fair and that's not democratic. And I think we, have the right to decide what we want to talk about. In particular, talking about the referendum in which the Catalans voted on potential independence. Alba also witnessed Madrid's other response to the referendum, the deployment of armed police to stop people voting. <laughs> In the town. Nevertheless, 43% of potential voters managed to cast ballots. 90% of them backed independence. It doesn't have sense in 2017 that, uh, that we have these videos, but everybody could see uh, what, uh, what they want to do just to stop people voting, just to stop democracy, and that's the that one. For some, independence is about political freedom, for others, financial freedom. Catalonia is Spain's wealthiest region, contributing 20% of Spain's GDP. Independence could bring greater prosperity. But 18-year-old Samuel Bravos is convinced that independence will only bring economic uncertainty. Why should I favor independence if it won't benefit me? Economists on both sides of this issue will say different things, but things would likely be worse than they are now. Samuel's dilemma is also personal. His father serves in the Spanish National Police, the same force that cracked down on referendum voters. I think the Spanish government is more to blame, but the Catalan government has taken advantage of the situation. They've taken us down the wrong path. As the political crisis deepens, historic divisions are resurfacing. The fascist salutes of the Franco dictatorship are now used to defy the Catalan regional police. You're earning more money than the Guardia Civil. You should be ashamed. Traitors. Traitors. Samuel is acutely aware of how the regional and national police have become politicized. Spanish society is now dangerously siding with some security forces and against others. Okay, my father is in the national police. I felt helpless because I saw people turn radical. They kept on messing with the national police. I know a lot of national police and they're good people. They have the right to live here. But some say, throw them out, they're Nazis. That's going too far. Now that Parliament is suspended, Alba has lunch with other Catalan MPs to discuss their relations with Madrid. The problem is that they don't want to talk. They don't want to agree with us in any point. And they just want us to resign 
and to go back to where we were, that's not acceptable because we are not now where we were before. Europe has to say anything, something, because um, if Europe uh, doesn't say nothing, uh, that will be the death of Europe because uh, the basic principles of the European Union has been uh, destroyed. But the principles of the European Union are also claimed by those who oppose Catalonia's split from Spain. Samuel goes to a pro-unity rally attended by some 300,000 people. They believe that the region will be better off staying with Spain. But the rally merely serves to expose the deep political and societal divisions in Catalonia, competing politics, nationalities and realities exposed in the streets. I'm concerned about the children and the young people. We've always lived here happily together. But now the kids are being taught a false history. They've made up all kinds of things. And that's causing Catalan kids to hate Spain. Divisive reminders from Spanish history. These are veterans of the Spanish Legion. Many in Spain still have some sympathy for Franco's military regime. The unity of Spain cannot be bought or sold. We are all one and we are all working together. Put the Catalan separatist government in jail. That would solve everything. A pro-independence friend joins Samuel at the rally and is confronted with societal divisions that she'd never seen before. The recent divisions are much worse than people had thought. I had no idea that there were so many people who wanted to take to the streets and defend these ideas. And that's why if Catalan President Puigdemont really wants to defend his people, he has two options. Preserve his image as a politician, as an independence hero, continue this process and end up in jail. That's likely how he will end up. Or he can step down. At the Catalan parliament, there is no stepping down from the momentum that's building towards independence. Alba arrives, security is tight. Madrid's reaction is still uncertain. I think maybe it's a little bit too much, you know, like it's everything closed. But if it's for security, it's okay. Hola, buen dia. No. Alba is joined by her father. Both expect that this will be the realization of a dream that spans generations. Dad, how do you feel? Great. Me? Elated. Lots of emotions. I can't describe it. It's hard to explain. Hmm. <laughs> I feel it in my skin. <laughs> Are you afraid? No, not afraid. What if the authorities trying to arrest us or something? Okay, that's a concern. But it's not fear, it's worry. She's aware of the situation, and we know quite well who we're up against. Wow. I'm going to take a photo of the circus. After an anxious day of waiting, the moment arrives. Alba and the rest of the Catalan MPs assemble for an extraordinary session of Parliament, a session that could change the map of Europe.
As president of the Catalan government, I hereby present the results of the referendum to Parliament and to our citizens. The mandate of the Catalan people is for Catalonia to become an independent state in the form of a republic. The Catalan president issues a declaration of independence, but immediately suspends its implementation in order to appease Madrid and buy time for negotiations. Nonetheless, the president and 72 pro-independence MPs sign a declaration of independence, although it's not clear whether the document is legal. We signed the Declaration of Independence. We made history. Now you're in their sights. The Spanish government responds promptly. The Deputy Prime Minister refuses to acknowledge Catalan independence or to allow mediation. Yeah, yeah I, I think it's, it's a reaction of the Spanish government that uh, we we would spec, spec because they are always saying there was no referendum, the referendum is illegal, you, you cannot talk about that, you cannot come to the Parliament of Catalonia, and it's always the same. After years of fighting for Catalonia's independence, Alba can celebrate the partial birth of a nation, even if the future path that Catalonia and Spain take remains unclear. Thank you.